Hey traders, this is Danielle. And Henry. We are in the studio today and we're gonna be doing the simpler options free video. Today we're gonna to be talking about three different ideas. We have XLY, we have AMD, and we also have... IWM. That's right. So let's go ahead and start with IWM first. What do you think about the Russell, Henry? Well, I like doing this in three pieces like that because it gives you a way to kind of diversify your thinking. So we'll start with the index, which is of course one of the bigger components. And really it's just something that, you know, like so many things we've been looking at are trading close to lifetime highs. It has an excellent trend in place. And I've kind of been following the theory that the strong dollar of the indexes, IWM should benefit the most. So obviously you've seen a lot of dollar strength the past couple of weeks, and I think that could filter over into IWM. Absolutely, and I mean, I personally just, I love the squeeze on the daily chart. I love the technical levels. It's holding the 50 period simple quite well. And um, I think that we got a nice ready aim fire buy today as well. So for all of those reasons, looking at IWM, and um, what about the next one? Well, so if you take it from the big picture idea, we would do IWM first mm -hmm. and then XLY after. So going from an index down into an individual sector. And the overwhelming story in XLY is going to be Amazon. So I'm thinking, you know, because you've got a couple things in Amazon. You've got them looking for the trillion dollar market cap mm -hmm. to piggyback off Apple. You've got the psychological value of 2000, and it's the most heavily weighted component of XLY. So even though Amazon doesn't have a daily squeeze, I think the squeeze in XLY could be very beneficial for those reasons. Absolutely, and also, you know, for traders who don't really want to trade an individual stock or options on an individual stock, they always have that option just to trade the options on the ETF, right? Sure, because Amazon can be a little volatile, and mm -hmm. if you step into XLY, well, then you get some diversification from Home Depot and Disney, and it'll make it, in theory, a little bit more calm place to trade. Absolutely. And then going down to our last idea, AMD. What do you think about that? AMD to me has been a little bit surprising, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it's something where you don't second guess it too much. You look at the pattern, you look at the setup, and you just trade what the chart is telling you. So I feel like there's been a lot of people out there that have been kind of hating on AMD. It had a lot of high short interest there for a while. And you just know that everybody that likes it short, well, they're going to short it again at 20. So if you can squeeze up through that off the squeeze, that's the direction I would play it. And I think it, just like these others, looks like a great daily squeeze setup. Absolutely. I mean, I really like AMD because of the squeezes across multiple time frames, because of the high short interest and, you know, really looking through that pop through the previous high to kind of get a um, little bit more momentum, more momentum going. So I hope of those three ideas, you can take one of those that fits more cleanly into your trading plan and find some good opportunity into next week. You guys have a great weekend and we'll see you at the next free video. Have a good weekend.